what is going on guys so i encountered an issue with um a screen replacement actually two screen replacements um i used an aftermarket uh, lcd when replacing an iphone 7 and an iphone 6s so after i replaced this uh after i replaced the screen on this iphone 7 uh, I knew I did everything correctly, I know what I'm doing, I've uh, been doing this for quite a while, I've repaired over 400 iPhones. So anyway, I did everything correctly, and uh, the phone, when, it, when I went to go power it up, it was stuck in a boot loop. So anyway, it was just stuck on the Apple logo, and uh, it was stuck like that for 15 minutes, and it eventually turned on, and when it turned on, um, there, the, the screen was completely acting up, and I actually have a video of that, so I'm gonna go ahead and play that clip right now. So real quick, I'm just gonna show you a prime example of exactly what is screw so screwed up about this, and uh, how it affects your phone. So, like I said earlier, the touch will momentarily work, and then you'll go to click something, and it it won't respond and then it's just frozen for a second it's frozen for a little bit and then it just does that the functionality of the phone is just pretty much done like let me click photos and it, it registers that I've clicked it so like after like 10 or 15 seconds it's gonna open photos but uh, the, the phone is just pretty much unusable See, there we go. How long did that take? Okay, so that is the clip. You can clearly see that the touch is not registering. And I just found out the issue and a way to uh, fix it. So the issue is on uh, iOS 11.01 and the um, iOS after that, this problem will persist if you have a non-Apple digitizer. So, and the crazy thing is, after, um, after I took the aftermarket LCD off and put the original Apple LCD back on, um, the problem was still persisting and the screen was unresponsive. So anyway, what you have to do is, hopefully, if your phone does um, come out of that boot loop, you just have to go into your settings and uh, go to general and um, you have to do an, uh, a software update. And in iOS 11.03, that actually solves the issue and your phone will now work perfect. Um, I was very happy when I found this out because I thought I was gonna have to buy this client a brand new phone. But just recently the other day, I fixed an iPhone 6S with iOS 11.01 and the phone has been stuck in a boot loop for over 24 hours and will not come out. So if you're watching this before, hopefully, before you've replaced uh, a phone, replaced a uh, digitizer on um, iOS 11.01, um, just know that you have to update the iPhone to iOS 11.03 and you should be all good. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. And if you liked what you saw and you thought this was informational, please leave a comment down below. Uh, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this.